Hey guys, assalamualaikum. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title or by the caption up here, I'm going to tell you guys about the time I felt my driver's test <laughs> three times. <laughs> I just want to say thank you guys for coming back, returning to my channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for leaving comments if you have so far. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Kutsia. Or you can call me C, hence my channel name, Along Came C. If you are a um, returning subscriber, thank you guys for sticking with me. It lets me know that you are interested in the content and lets me know that I should keep going. Um, but if you guys want to hear about the time, I'll, I felt this one, two, three times, all three of them. Then keep watching. <laughs> I don't know how I felt my driver says three times. <sighs> keep watching because... <laughs> all right you guys welcome back so i low-key knew how to drive but not according to pennsylvania or whatever <laughs> not according to pennsylvania they said uh-uh sis uh-uh no <laughs> turn around go back and try it again three times okay so the first time i fell it's not actually the driving part. Okay, so let me rewind. I felt like I was too old to be catching lifts, to be catching Ubers, to be catching SEPTA. Um, SEPTA is Pennsylvania's like train, the name of our train system, SEPTA. Um, so we have trains and buses and trolleys, stuff like that. So I'm like, I'm not getting nobody's bus. I'm not getting nobody's uh, subway. I'm over there. I'm too old. I'm too old to be having people drive me. I need to drive myself. Um, so I bought a car. Didn't know how to drive yet completely, but bought a car and everything. I was like, I'm not playing this year. 2019, like I kept saying every year for my such as his birthday, I'm going to get my license before this birthday. I'm going to get my license before this birthday. And sis, at this point, you're too old. You should have been headed about 10 years ago. <laughs> period um <laughs> so the first time i went um i'm not really good when it comes to like i'm good when it comes to taking tests i pass i'm never i was never a dummy period i was never a dummy i just get nervous when it comes to taking tests like i don't know why i have like anxiety and anxiety be like hey sis i'm here to mess it up for you um Yes, I want you to worry. Yes, you're going to fail. This is my anxiety talking to me. And I'm just like, <laughs> sis, you win every time. So the first time you have to take, before you could actually take your road test, you have to take your permit test. So I really didn't study. And I did. I knew I probably wasn't going to pass. But I just wanted to take the permit test just so I know what like questions or what type of stuff they might ask on the test. So I didn't go there expecting to pass because I really didn't study. That was just a trial. So that's the first time I went. And I um I think you have to get like, there's 18 questions total. You have to get 15 correct. And if you get like eight wrong off the rip, you fail. You ain't even got to take the rest of them seven, sis. That's it. Like, see you. It's, it flashes fail and you just get up and do your walk of shame on out the door. <laughs> um... So that's the first time I felt. The second time I went back to take my permit test and I passed it because all I did was when people tell you just read the book, that's all you have to do. Just read your book. Um, and basically I read the book and then they have like questions and answers in the back. But um, I just wrote all the answers into the questions and I just studied the questions. And that's how I passed the second time. I went in there, I got everything right. I'm like, oh, all right. Eight correct, bet. And then it said pass flashed across the thing. So I didn't even have to take all 15 or whatever. So I pass and I'm walking out cheese and I'm Joe. I go to take my little picture to go on my permit. And then, you know, they have to schedule you. Or when you leave, you go online and you, you like schedule online your test. And sometimes it's not for like months or sometimes you get it the next month or whatever. But I, I um, that was in, I want to say... March, I took the permit test, passed it, I think. And then I went to take my first time, my first attempt at the driving part. So I take, I go in. <laughs> Yo, I was already nervous. First of all, I'm on YouTube because I already know I can't parallel park on 
my right side i know for sure and when you take the test at the location that i took it at you had to parallel park in that spot on your right side where i lived at the time i would just like pull in i keep my fold my scarf wrong but anyway at the time i just would like pull into my spot or if i had to back up i would back up and parallel park but it was on the left side so i was so used to parking on my left side that i didn't really practice on par parking on the right side which when well, that's a mistake learn how to park on both sides i'm i'm good now but i'm just saying um so uh, I'm on YouTube, I'm Googling how to pass the driver's test, how to pass um, the written test. That's passed, that's done out the way. So now I'm on Google, I'm on YouTube, and I'm just looking at how to parallel park. Um, and I'm looking at like PA road tests, and it really wasn't at the location that I went. So I'm like, that's pointless. Uh, <laughs> so... I get in the car my first my first time taking a driver's test. I get in the car that you know how your instructor they stand outside your window, they tell you roll your window down, they tell you to do whatever you have to do. They tell you to work all the controls, turn the car off, turn it on, but don't start it. Uh your flag your four-way flashers, your safety hazards, your emergency brake, your window wipers, all of that stuff I just passed. Boom, 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 boom. All right, good. Oh here, he about to walk around and get in the car. Um, I said, I'm made like a dummy trying to be all, um, <laughs> trying to be teacher's pet. I'm like, oh yeah, make sure you put your seatbelt on. He was like, oh yeah, I am. I don't know if you could drive or not. I'm like, oh, okay. Okay. You got a smart mouth. So that's strike one for you. So then <laughs> he put his seatbelt on. He was like, okay, now you can start the car up. So I start the car up, boom, everything's fine. I put the emergency brake down, back down, because they try to trick you. They tell you to put it on, and they don't tell you to put it back down, but you got to, you know, make sure you put it back down. So I put the emergency brake back down. Um, I start the car up or whatever. <clears throat> this day, it wasn't, and I turn the lights off, because they don't tell you to turn your lights off either. It was broad daylight, and it was early, so... I turned the lights back off, and then I started the car up. Well, I started the car up, turned the lights back off. Then I proceeded to go to the front, front of the line, where he tells you, okay, at this line, you're going to make a left turn, and you see that first box here. That first box here says you're going to pull. you want to, um, this first box here says you want to parallel park in that box. Go ahead. That's basically how he was. I had no friendly person. He was like, all right, like, a real like hood old head not hood old head but somebody that just there like all right let me get this out the way i'm just at work doing this or whatever that type not the type that want to try to um try to uh help you pass or nothing because i don't know if they get paid off of just being an instructor or giving you the test or if they get paid off of felon people or whatever but i don't know so he's like you're on a park in that that box let me rewind because before i um got to him i rented a car to take my test in it's usually out right outside the dmv they have these little tiny cars that you can rent and um you could take your test in so i took the test in the car and the white guy i had to call him the white guy but he was white but he was one of the uh, people that rent off the cars to you so I, I got in the car with him and they kind of tell you what's going to be exactly on the test. They're going to tell you, okay, when you get in the car, they're going to tell you to do this. They're going to tell you to do this. When you go on the street, they're going to tell you to turn here. They're going to tell you to park here, pull over here, switch this lane, go to the next lane, whatever. So the guy that um, I rented the car from, older right guy, he was a nice, a nice um, person. So i he basically told me everything nice to meet you sit down here put your seatbelt on this is i'm gonna go over here um with you and i'm gonna let you get in the driver's seat you're gonna drive around i'm gonna tell you exactly what's going to be on the test and exactly what they're going to expect of you and they're going to ask you to do on the test so i'm like okay um they try to make you feel comfortable but all that comfortableness goes out the window when the actual driver uh test tester or whatever they're called when they get in the car with you so once he um <clears throat> once he said we're going to do this put your seatbelt on they're going to tell you to do this this and that okay so to rent these cars is fifty dollars every time you get in their car every time you rent it 
So that should tell you then you shouldn't fail unless you want to keep on renting their cars that pay $50. Like, I'm not about to keep doing it. So that was the first time. So fast forward back to me being in the instructor's car, um, the being in a car, but being in with the person that's giving me the test, um, that's grading me on driving or whatever. So he's like, says, you will make this, uh, you will make this left right here. And then you want to go ahead and you want to parallel park right up in that box. Okay. Then after he said that, dead silence. So I'm pulling out, put my left turn, I put my left turn signal on first and I pull out, make sure I turn my head because they want you to do that to make sure that you're checking your surroundings or whatever. Okay. Boom. I do that. I pull up to the parking spot, put my right blinker on because that's what you have to do when you're parking. Obviously, put your right blinker on and let the customer, not the customers, the passengers behind you or the drivers behind you know that you're stopping here and you're about to park here. So, this is the box. This is the box. I'm going straight up past, and you know how your back window, there's that little square or triangle thing or whatever. And you look through that and you can see that you can, that's supposed to line up with the front of their car, I think, or no, with the back of their car. I think the back of their car, but I look back there. So as I'm backing up, like, I can't, <laughs> this, this is ridiculous. So as I'm backing up, like, I'm backing up, coming into the spot, boom. Why did I hit the freaking cone thing? Biggest day. It ain't like I couldn't see it. The big orange thing that they use for like, like when they blocking off streets or whatever, doing construction. That big orange thing. Why did I hit that? Why did he tell me? Uh, 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 stop, stop, stop. Put your foot on the brake. Stop. Put the car in park. And they get off the car. I said, oh my God, I drove. I just failed this test. I'm like, I'm like, yo, I fell. He like, get off the car and look at what you just did, y'all. <laughs> Why was I parked on top of this cone thing, this big boulder thing? I'll insert a picture of what it looks like. Why was I parked in front of that? I mean, on top of that. Like, girl, yeah, you fell. So that was the first time I fell. <laughs> so that was the first time I fell. Second time I felt, I go, I'm still nervous. I'm like, all right, I got it. I'm going a, I'm to a park this joint. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get out of here, get my license, and I'll be on my way. I'm not about to pay. Oh, second time, pay $50 again to use the car. So who just got, who just keep having $50? I mean, I had it. But who just want to keep giving these people $50 to use their car every time? Not me. I don't want to keep doing that. So rent the car for the second time, right? boom all right the guy was like what happened i thought you well he said what happened the first time i was like i didn't pass i hit the thing he clearly saw what happened i was like i was nervous and so he's like all right we're gonna get it next time so he's out there again the guy that i rented the car from the older the older uh white guy he's out there again and he's like all right i have faith in you i had faith in you before because like i said they take you out on drive and they tell you to park here or do this it's different when you're in a car with the person that you're renting from versus the person that's giving you the exam so this time <clears throat> hold on y'all because i'm getting thirsty from talking <laughs> Mm -hmm, that's good. Oh, so this time, I'm, um, <laughs> this time I actually take the test the second time. I do everything right. All the controls is right. I parallel park perfect. Cause I was, I was, since I fell that time, I was like, I'm not failing this again. And the car was not big, y'all. It, it, it wasn't a punch buggy, but I don't even remember what kind of model of it was, but it was a smaller car. So, anyways, I get in, uh, do all the controls, check, boom, I passed all that. Go, make the left the left turn, uh, then I make a, the right signal into the parking spot, park perfectly, boom. I come out of the spot, and <laughs> strike one was he claimed I didn't look over my shoulder. But how I didn't look over my shoulder, if I had to put the left signal on, I looked in the mirror, and I turned around. 
So he said there was one thing that I felt with. Mind you, this is a different instructor. They was both like, look like they take their jobs way too serious. Like, just be failing people just for GP or whatever. But um, that was strike one. I, he said, so you see that stop sign up there? You want to go there? You want to make a left? And then um, I did all that. We get out on the street. Boom, we get out of the parking lot. We get on the street to actual driving. He said, you're going to go inside this lane. You're going to make a right to this lane here at, after the light. Okay. So I'm going to, so I put my signal on. He said, oh, you can't drive in this lane. He like, pull over. I'm like, yo, I felt again. Yo, I know what that pullover meant. I felt again. Like, it's no way. No way. I did everything he said. Like, I promise. He said, so you were driving in this lane. You can't drive in this lane. You have to get over in this lane and get out of it. I'm like, I wasn't even driving in this lane. I'm like, all right, whatever. At this point, I'm like, all right, whatever. Like, I said, all right, I felt. He like, yeah, you felt. I'm like, all right. So I just, I just drove. And I was pissed off. I'm like, shh. I felt again. I felt again. Now I gotta wait a whole other month to take the test again. So I'm like, what the heck? Like, mind you, I got my permit. I'm I've been already driving before, even even before that. But quiet as it's kept, that's nobody's business but mine. Uh, <laughs> um, so I gotta take the test all over again, and I gotta wait a whole other month. So. The next month comes, I take the test. This is the third time I'm taking the test. So at this point, I didn't pay $150 to use these people's car. $50 three times. I said, oh no, three times is a charm. Like I said, one, two, three, stretch out. I just won't be driving. Like, or I may have to go to another like um, location to take the test because I ain't rocking with y'all down here or whatever. So he was like, he said, I said, yo, I took this joint three times already. I said, you failed me the first time. So it's back to the one that gave it to me the first time. I said, I'm not failing this time. I put a piece of chewing gum in my mouth. Excuse me. Because when I'm nervous, I have to chew gum or I, I suck on the mint or something like that to ease my nerves, to calm my stomach down because I'll be really nervous. So I'm like, um, I'm not failing this again. I says, so basically... He tells me everything to do. I do everything perfect. This time, I pass, y'all. And right here is a clip where this is, like, right after. I was really excited. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I passed here. I'm like, yo, I'm not failing this test again. And before I took it that last time, I'm texting everybody. I'm texting friends. I'm texting family, my mom, my dad. My sisters, my brother, I'm like, please, 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 everybody make do all for me that I pass. Please uh, do I do I means pray. Make it make a little prayer for me. Um uh that I <laughs> that I pass this test because I don't know, like I'm not about to take this again. <laughs> I'm not about to do it again. So I'll call everybody. Once once I take the test, I pass it, I go inside. I'm calling everybody. I call my husband. I'm like, I just passed the test. He's like you did? I'm like, yo, like, I'm really excited right now, and you're not even happy. Okay, so I'll go, but I said, I'll call you back. I call my dad, call my mom, call my sisters, I call everybody. And and they all happy for me. Like, yeah, now you could drive us here and there and there and there. Like, the little corny jokes or whatever. So, um, I go back inside, and then I, I gotta sit and wait for an hour. I'm like, Shh. I just waited, through, like, two or three months to get this. So, what's up? Like, let me take this picture and get out. So, finally, I go inside, take my new picture for my license. Um, I have to wait for about half an hour to 45 minutes because it was a little crowded in there. But finally, y'all, <laughs> after three tries, <laughs> first try was with the uh, permit. I failed that. Then the second time I failed it was driving. So, after the third time... A girl finally got her license, so I had it for about, all right, shh, April, May, June, July. I don't know, a couple months now I had it. So, yeah, that's the, <laughs> that's the time of how I felt my driver's test three times, all trio. If you guys like this video... <laughs> If you 
you guys like this video give it a thumbs up make sure you comment share this video and also make sure you subscribe if you guys want to be informed of when i upload new content just make sure you hit the bell right next to the subscribe button i believe until next time you guys assalamualaikum see you next time